We did it. Hey guys, this weekend we are in Springfield, Ohio, which is quite a ways from home and definitely not my time zone. We got here. We got here last night, got him unloaded, got him settled. I cold hosed his legs because I forgot the ice vibes, so we did it a little old school. And it's time for us to get him some breakfast and we will run later today. Are you just so hungry? The answer is yes. He literally pooped in his water bucket. Yes. I'm gonna shut you in here because you're gonna come out of there. I made feed bags for every day we're here just because it is so, so much easier. He's trying to stick his head over the stall to see what's taking me so long. So I'm gonna try and hurry and get this dumped so he'll quit being so annoying. He is just so hungry. We traveled about nine hours yesterday, so it was quite the long haul. I got him clean water since he's decided to be so disgusting. So he's two really clean buckets for whenever he finishes his breakfast. We'll run at like 2 p.m. I think. While he ate, we went and watched a little bit of some pole bending and we saw this really smoking 19 second run along with some other really awesome pole runs. There were these super, super cute puppies and I sadly made it home without one. So if you have one, I am very jealous. Okay, it's time for us to start brushing and getting him groomed so we can tack him up. No, no. I can't really get the camera to the other side, but that's what I am gonna go do real quick. He has all of his tack on, so we are gonna pick his feet and then take him to go warm up. Like always in the summer, just gonna warm up in bell boots and then put on the leg boots before we go. I took him out to this nice big outdoor arena to warm up and you're gonna see me do a sitting trot. This is because I want him a little calmer, a little softer before our run. I want him to be collected the best I can. I do really kind of have to work with him and I do some figure eights here. I wanna make sure he is super warm and he is not going to pull anything in his run. We wanna be nice and stretched out. And then once I feel like I've trotted enough, I will ask for him to look both ways and at the end of our warm-up you will see me work the barrels just a little bit nothing fast at all just a really controlled lope and then a walk slash trot
was wanting to really put his foot on the gas pedal and I had to slow him down because we were sharing the pattern with another girl. Normally I would not, but I did not know she was about to wrap the other barrel a bunch. So we just sat and waited on her and then I finished our pattern and then we just very calmly went through the pattern. I just asked him for a walk slash really, really slow trot, getting him thinking and just being soft. No need to do it fast all the time because that just makes their minds a little crazy and I think with Chester it works better to really have it slow and controlled. She's running. I guess she gets a new drag. I'm running with this kid in the first bell. It's crazy. She's gonna mow him down. Makes me nervous. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to explain that little tractor fiasco you just sort of witnessed, and I'm going to tell you what just happened. So, we are getting ready to run. I am in the holding pin, and I am last on the ground, which means I am fifth. So, they drag, we're all in the holding pin, and then we start running my drag. So, the first runner goes, the second runner goes, the third runner goes, he calls his name, he says the next person is next to go, and that Sadie is on deck. However, when the fourth person comes out, and I'm number five, he says drag, and then he corrects himself real quick and says, wait, no, Sadie. Sadie Miller on a French bound jet is the horse or whatever, and I am walking Chester in. Chester is really kind of wanting to go, but I decided to walk him in this day because we've never been here, even though I very easily could have gone to the end of that alleyway, turned his butt, and we could have been going 40 miles per hour down that alleyway without looking back. And that first barrel is blind. So if you're a barrel setter, I would have had no idea that you were there at all. But thankfully, I was like, no, we're going to walk in today. So I kind of pull him, calm him down. He's walking amazingly. And then a bunch of other people started walking in with me and I was confused because I was like well he's not being bad like I don't need help to get in the alleyway I don't know what everybody's doing and then I look up and I hear and see the tractors going even though he had called my name and the barrel setters were at the barrel so I could have gone blazing in there we could have killed some money <laughs> or I could have just it could have just been a mess and I never want to send him in there and really just have to pull on him and to avoid some sort of accident and make him feel like he did something wrong when he didn't. So I'm really glad I chose to walk. So we just sat in that alleyway watching the tractors go round and round and round until finally they stopped. The barrels got set back up and we were able to make our run. So he made a phenomenal run. He did so, so good. He really smoked it. I pulled him up coming out and he still would have been a 15 
seven one so there is no telling what that run really would have been so that is a little sad but i was so so happy with it he did so good he felt amazing and he was such an angel for not running over any barrel setters that day and to just sit like that and then go make a run. When I did barely tip that barrel, something possessed me to attempt to reach my hand down. I have never saved a barrel. Well, I have never attempted to save a barrel before, so I don't know what came over me exactly, but I just in the moment blacked out and put my hand down and I can tell you I never ever would have done that in my old saddle. You can see that my butt did not come out of the saddle. I am still sat square in balance not coming off the side or anything with my hand down to that barrel. I never would have attempted that in my last saddle. My master saddle just really snugs me down and keeps me really secure and it fits me and Chester really, really well. So if you want a master saddle to make you feel all nice and snugged in and really comfy and you want to give your horses back some relief from those heavy barrel saddles, make sure you email me, Sadie at mastersaddles.com or text Sadie to this number below for a hundred dollars off your order you heard me write a hundred dollars you will love it and your horse will thank you for it so let's go get locked out of my living quarters trailer we have absolutely no idea how this happened but we did get locked out of the living quarters and we had the keys inside so i had to shimmy my way through this window to go get them but don't worry it was a success and after a little while it was time to go get a very very hungry Chester his dinner and he was so excited and then after he had eaten his dinner he got a nice big flake of alfalfa to snack on for the rest of the night so he could rest up for our run super early in the morning. guys it is almost time for us to make our second and final run here i have chester all tacked up he had a really nice nap this morning it looked like he was covered in shavings i got his tail in a nice little braid he worked so so good for me yesterday he was amazing there was a whole tractor fiasco i'm sure i will have already talked about that really kind of was very chaotic before our run but he really impressed me he did so 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 good he worked so well i just barely sat too soon so i'm gonna push a little bit further and we'll see what happens we're just gonna make the best run hopefully that we can make you excited I'm wearing my black Troxel Terrain helmet today. He is rocking the cow print hothead saws boots, all of which you can find discount codes for down in the description. Let's go warm up. I'm trying real hard not to be, be nervous. I do pretty much the same thing to warm up. I walk him for a long time because of that long haul, really stretching him out. And then I do the same sitting trot and I do little figure eights and everything. And then I eventually will lope both ways. The only thing that is different this day is I am not going to do any barrels on him.
Winchester has qualified us back to the Eastern American semifinals for our second year in a row. We are so excited. He has worked so good this whole weekend. Today was maybe not his fastest. I played it just a little bit safe. He really smoked it yesterday and had a phenomenal run. If only I hadn't tipped that, but we are Lexington bound in January for the American. And I am just so happy with him. He had such a good weekend. I got all that tack off quick, went to go take our little qualifier picture. And now he is eating some alfalfa before we pack up and head back to Arkansas for the nice nine hour drive. He of course has had lots of treats. Okay, we are about to load up and head home. He is grazing right now, letting him really stretch his legs after that run and before he's in the trailer for eight hours, nine hours, however long it takes us to get home. And he is having a good time. A ton of people have left, so we have a ton of space to really walk around and get some good grass. And then I will hopefully be able to ice by before we load him up. He's drank a ton of water. He had a really good weekend to Ohio. You were fun for my first time here. And overall, I'm just again so happy for this weekend. He has done so, so good for me and has walked in the alleyway and just been really an angel this whole trip. So could not ask for more and we came and got done what we came to do. I pretty much have everything packed up that is in our tack stall. I'm just waiting for the horse trailer to get over here to load everything. I cold hose Chester's front legs really good after we walked around, stretched out, ate some grass, and then I think when we get home I will ice vibe everything. So it's hawks, everything after that long haul because I think that will be better for him. So we are just waiting on the horse trailer to arrive to put everything up and head home. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming to Ohio with us. In my next video, I have a really, really huge surprise, fingers crossed, that I will be able to announce to you guys, and I just cannot wait, so I will see you then. Bye!